Okay, so as you can see, you can walk in here again because all of the mess now out there. That isn't just in here, that's polystyrene and that. We've got a new computer and what's the fucking zone? Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking wire. Um, oh, fuck off. Yeah, look. That's, I've got dodgy connections there, as usual. Right. Close. Hey, close. Oh, crap. Uh. Anyway, so you can see it's a nice tidy mess in here now. I know there's a lot of junk up there as well, but oh well. This video is for Vidman08. I believe it's Vidman08. I can, I can check quickly. Well, I will check just to make sure I get that right. Um, but that's the thought I was going inside, but I decided to do a video. Right. Uh, as you know, I had pro problems with airline, and it being this airline here, which was um, which had a hole in it. And Ron on Vidman, um, Ron, who is, who is Vidman 08, I believe it's 08, um, offered me some airlines, which is that one there and the yellow one up there. Now the yellow one, I have had some disagreements with. But, um, oh, for fuck's sake, this computer could not get any slower. But, um, that was due to embrittlement. I don't know if it's just cold out here, but, um, that is why I've now got this orange piece here. The idea, because I don't have any quick release fittings, what I do to take something off, and I'll try and demonstrate this to you, is grab my spanner. Loosen that off just a little bit until I can hear it hissing. Grab the airline and just crimp it like this. And then you can loosen that off, that little nut there off by hand. You put it onto whatever tool you're going to use next, for example that. You tie it back up while you're still holding this, just by hand. It's still, it's still hitting once you let go of that. Then just tighten it up with the spanner. Just tighten that up. And then you can go off again. The problem with this was, the embrittlement meant when you tried to bend it, the line snapped. So, I do have the other end of that, i just got to put it back on. And I do have some of the old fixings from this. And I also started to use my old one as fuel line. <laughs> Which apparently don't work very well. This engine will not run properly to save its life. And I have got a plan for it. But anyway, um, all I have to do though, is disconnect this fitting here this hose from this coupling then I can chuck that one in between these two fittings and then I can have it nice and long Perfect. fact this one blue one has they're both the same length but just this one air hose has enough le enough reach for I need it's absolutely brilliant fantastic I can actually get to the other side of the room now without yanking the compressor along with me thanks for that uh, oh bollocks to you you pile of shit come on Hey! Oh, bollocks is not even signed in. Oh, yeah, I've got keyboard issues as well, so I have to use the on-screen keyboard. I can use this one, it's just more time-consuming. I thought I was signed in, but apparently not. Oh, well. Um, that's that for now. I'll do an update video in a second. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Cheers, Ron.